hey what's going on guys let's do this problem right here this question is asking circle of fins of uniform cross section with diameter of 10 millimeter and length of 50 millimeter are attached to a wall with surface temperature of 350 degrees celsius the fins are made of material with thermal conductivity of 240 and they are exposed to an ambient air con condition of 25 degrees celsius and the convection heat transfer coefficient is 250 determine the heat transfer for the following boundary conditions so first we have infinitely long fin and second we have adiabatic fin tip and the third one is this and for this now let's see how we can find it so first of all in all of the conditions we are going to require this value that is HPKAC right so HPKAC this value is related with all the heat transfer equation now so this is p actually so here h is going to be heat transfer coefficient that's provided right here and p is perimeter we have to find out k is thermal conductivity that's that's also given right here and ac is cross sectional area also for some of the heat transfer equations we have to find this m value that can be found from this equation that is H P over K A C. So both of them we have to find perimeter and cross sectional area first and then we can calculate this one. Now let's find out the perimeter and cross sectional area. To find the perimeter, so since this is circular, so the perimeter is going to be just 2 phi r or phi d. Since they have given the diameter, we can use phi d for a circular area. Now phi d is going to be 5 times diameter is 10 millimeter that is equivalent to 0 0.01 meter and if you calculate this one that's going to give you 0 0.03142 meter. Now let's go ahead and calculate area cross sectional area for a circle is going to be phi r square or phi d square by 4 since we, we have the diameter we can choose phi d square by 4 right so phi times again diameter is going to be 0 0.01 square by 4 and if you calculate this one that's going to give you 7.84854 times 10 to the power of minus 5 meter square now we can go ahead and find these two values so let's cal calculate this one first HPKAC. So let's start with here HPKAC. So H is heat transfer coefficient that's provided right here 250. So we are going to plug 250 right here and then perimeter that we calculated that one that is 0 0.0314. So 0 0.0314 and then we have thermal conductivity that is provided right here that is 240 and then area we calculated that is 7.854 times 10 to the power of minus 5 so 7.854 times 10 to the power of minus 5 and if you calculate this value that's going to give you 0 0.3848 and then we have to calculate m value so this is watts per degree celsius and m value to calculate m value we use this equation that is square root of hp over k a c now h, h is heat transfer coefficient that is 250 times the perimeter that is 0 0.03142 over thermal conductivity that is 240 times the cross sectional area that we found out right here that is 7.854 times 10 to the power of minus 5 and if you calculate this one that's going to give you 20.41 meter minus 1 right now we have m value and this one now let's go ahead and find this for each conditions now we don't need this information anymore 
right? We only need these two information. So we have found out already. So now let's go ahead and start with the first condition. So whenever we have infinitely long fin, we use this equation to find q dot. q dot is equivalent to for an infinitely long fin. So let's put q long fin. Q long fin that is equivalent to square root of HPKAC times TB. So this is base temperature minus ambient temperature, right? So this one we already calculated. That's that's the value we found out right here. So we can plug that one right here. So this is going to be 0 0.3848 times base temperature is this one and ambient temperature is this one right so base temperature is 350 minus ambient temperature is 25 and if you calculate this one that's going to give you 125 watts right so this is for the first condition now let's look at the adiabatic fin tip so to find the q dot in adiabatic fin tip we use this equation so here it's going to be same thing the only th difference is we are going to have tan hyperbolic ml so q dot adiabatic tip is equivalent to hpkc tb times tb minus t infinity the same ambient temperature and then times tan hyperbolic ml so this one we already found out 0 0.3848 times tb minus t infinity again 350 minus 25 times tan hyperbolic ml so tan hyperbolic m value we calculated that's the value 20.41 so 20.41 times the length that is 50 millimeters so this is going to be 0. Point, so if you con convert this one into meter that's going to be 0 0.05 meter right and if you calculate this one that's going to give you 96.3 watts so we have done this part right here now let's look at the third part so third part we have fin with Tip temperature of 250 degrees Celsius so let's see how we can find it so for this one we are going to have this equation that is uh, HP Q dot specified temperature temperature is equivalent to HP KC times TB minus T infinity times cos hyperbolic ml minus tl minus t infinity times tb minus t infinity over sine hyperbolic ml right so this is the one we are going to have let's go ahead and plug the values so first uh, we have HPKAC, we found out that one right here, that is 0 0.3848 times TB minus T infinity, that's going to be 350 minus 25, right, 350 minus 25, and if you calculate these values, that's going to give you 0 0.7250, and finally you will end up with this number that is uh, 90.7 watts. Now let's go ahead to the D part. So D part is asking for convection from the fin tip. So let's see how we can find this one. So to find this one, we need some space, right? Maybe I erase this first part. So 
so let's put this one D so here we are going to have convection from pin tip so for this one we are going to use this one equation Q dot pin tip is equal to HPKAC and then TB minus T infinity times sine hyperbolic ML plus H over MK times cos hyperbolic ML over cos hyperbolic ML plus H over MK times sine hyperbolic ML right so this value we already know that is 0 0.3848 and tb minus t infinity again that's going to be 350 minus 25 and if you calculate these values that's going to give you 0 0.7901 and if you multiply everything together that's going to give you 98.8 watts and that's how we do this kind of problems i hope you guys find this video helpful See you next time.